Now, in other Marvel news, <laughs> Blade, yo, Blade, y'all remember Blade? I mean, y'all y'all should remember Blade, right? Wesley Snipes, the Daywalker, out here taking out vampires left and right with his martial arts and crazy cool swords. Um, we finally get an update, sort of, about Blade. It's 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 such a it's such a interesting thing with Marvel and Blade because this is a movie that was announced what five years ago, five years ago. Um, but Marvel is just oh not offering much in the way of updates, announcements, or official news. And a, rather allowing, you know, third-party sites like Deadline or Variety just to report their findings rather than making an announcement themselves, right? We've gone through a couple of directors. We've gone through a couple of writers. But we still have Mahershala Ali attached to play the vampire known as Blade. The problem is that it's been five years. We haven't heard anything from Marvel themselves. Nothing. We've, we've seen them announce projects. We've seen them release those other projects that were announced at the same time. We've seen sequels for the projects that were announced in 2019 released. But we haven't heard a peep from Blade. And this this is this is one that's been a little bit rough. Right? This one's been a little bit rough because we're all patiently waiting for the return of this awesome, awesome character. Especially with Mahershala in the role. But... That that comes to an end now. The drought is finally over because Kevin Feige has was put on the spot when doing his promotion for, I don't know, it might have been San Diego Comic Con, it might have been for the Deadpool Wolverine release, but either way, he finally said something in that, you know, I, I don't want to play it because I'm I'm already playing the copyright strike game today, but he essentially says in this trailer, and I'll, I'll even drop the link in the chat for you guys if you guys want to listen to the video over on the website. Um, but what he says is that they're trying to get it right. He did confirm that one, Blade will be rated R. Great. It's going to be the next rated R film after Deadpool and Wolverine. I don't know if that was a requirement. I honestly can't even remember if the other Blade films are rated R, but hey, this one will be rated R. That That's news. Listen, five years, I'll take it. That's news. Um, also, they're waiting to get the story right. Now, yo, know, stop, stop, y'all. Stop. Don't be mean. It's not just having a dude kill vampires. This, there's more to Blade than fighting vampires. Right? Well, they're going to do it, right? So they're going to figure out how this story is going to be told. And they want to get it right. They want to take their time. They're going through different writers. They're going through different directors. And this this is hard. This is a little tough. This is a tough pill to swallow, especially when you know how many projects have been released from Marvel. And it's like, all right, I get it, right? This is a, this, this is a high-profile project. But why is this the one that's delayed for so long? Deadpool and Wolverine just came out. I think it was announced after Blade. But they got it right. I don't want to be too negative or too harsh. It's definitely a wait and see kind of thing. But I'm definitely like that kid waiting for my parents to give me my dessert. And they're giving me vegetables. Like, dude, when are we getting the Blade? When when are we getting the Blade? It, 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 <laughs> yeah yeah but we we did get this news so I'm, I'm gonna try to be grateful i'm gonna try to be grateful and be patient from the powers that be at marvel that have proven that they can do whatever they want when it comes to storytelling uh and eventually we're gonna get blade it's, it's gonna happen it's gonna ha look an update 